Yo guys, in this video, I might be taking a look at the best budget camera microphone for under $30. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the mic that we're gonna be taking a look at is the Movo VXR 5000. But before we test it out, let me go over the unboxing and the installation of the microphone. Now the unboxing was quite straightforward, finding a box inside of a box open to reveal some protective foam, the manual, a wind filter, and the microphone itself. Oh, and they also included this very nice traveling bag thing for the microphone, which is very nice of them to include. Taking a closer look at the microphone, the microphone body is made of a matte black aluminum, which makes it have a nice quality feel. On the back, it has a on and off switch, and if it's switched the whole way to the top, it is a low cut filter. It also has a nice LED light showing that the mic is on. It has a foam windshield and also a wind muff, as other people call a dead cat. They also included in the box some extra rubber bands for bracing the mic, which is very nice. The mic needs a 9 volt battery to work. It doesn't operate just off of the camera's battery, but it needs a 9 volt battery to record audio. You can insert the battery on the left side under the small aluminum tab, which is kind of hard to get under because you have to stretch the bands in order to fit the battery in. After the battery is in, all that's left is to attach it to your camera. Now to install the Movo mic on top of your camera is quite easy. I have here my DSLR, which is a Nikon D5600. Now to install it, all you have to do is line up the bottom of the mic with the top of the camera, and it has this little slot here that you slide it into. Next, tighten the thumb screw until it is tight against the camera. Then plug in the 3.5mm jack into your camera. Now the mic might not be selected in your settings, so you're going to have to go into your camera settings and select it as the main microphone. And that's pretty much it for the unboxing and the installation. Now onto what people care about the most, and that is how it compares to other mics. And so we're gonna go into some sound testing. I have three different mics, and I will see you in the mic testing booth. Yo guys, welcome to the mic testing booth. It's not really much of a testing booth, it's just a normal room. Now the three microphones that I'm gonna be testing is of course the Movo VXR5000 and also the built-in camera microphone on my Nikon D5600. And also I have a desktop mic which I have here which is the Toner uh, BM700, that's what it is. Now it's not like a crazy expensive mic at all, it's near the same price point. So with that information out of the way, let's begin the test. I'm gonna say like a sentence and I'm gonna say it into each mic about the same distance away and I'm gonna play the in-camera audio first and then the Movo mic and then the last, the toner. Listen closely and see which one you like the best. There will be no editing on any of these clips so it'll be the raw sound of what you hear. Yo guys, welcome back to another video where I'm going to be doing some audio tests for you guys and this was the built-in mic in the camera. Yo guys, welcome back to another video where I'm going to be doing some audio tests for you guys and this was the Movo VXR5000. Yo guys, welcome back to another video where I'm going to be doing some audio tests for you guys and this was the Toner BM700. Now I'd like to know which one you think sounded best, so be sure to leave your comment in the comments section below. Anyway, the question is, is this the best budget microphone for your camera? And the answer is, I don't really know because I haven't really tested out any other budget microphones for a camera. But what I can tell you is the Movo VXR5000 is a quality camera for the price. Now the build quality is aluminum and you're also getting a lot of accessories and the quality of the sound that you're getting from this microphone is pretty good overall. Now the only two down things I don't like about this mic is the fact that it's kind of large and clunky and when you're shooting it with your hand it adds about an extra pound of weight to your camera so that's like the two things that I don't like it being sort of large and clunky for hand operations and the fact that it just puts a little bit more weight. There are other mics that don't weigh near as much and are smaller which I would almost recommend but this thing has really good sound quality that I really like as well. But overall, I would definitely recommend this mic for anyone that needs a budget mic. If you have a little bit more money, I would suggest going and buying yourself a Rode microphone. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing, installation, and review of the Movo VXR5000. And with that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.